everybody welcome to the oracle reading for the lilith in cancer and the new moon in cancer whoa and this is what cancer season that's all i gotta say oh my gosh so y'all cancers out there someone says how you doing how you doing <laughs> all right so this is a reading this is going to be an oracle reading about um your security you know what you need to feel secure or to have your securities be met, all right? So that card or this card is going to tell you about that. And if you have a cusp moon, all right, that means your moon is falling within two signs, then definitely uh, you should be watching two of the moon signs, right? whatever it is so like for instance i am a gemini cancer cancer cusp um moon sign so i usually have to watch a gemini moon reading and a cancer moon reading in order to get a full perspective of the emotional side of things right uh, when it comes to the moon right so the fem side of the things however you want to talk about it but this is a card about how your securities are being met. This is going to be also, you're going to relate it to generational curses. Because with Lilith being there, honey, Lilith is big mama that don't play, okay? She that one that, you listen, ain't no holding back. Um, we're going to get this all out and we're going to get it out yesterday. Okay, that's big mama for you, okay? Big mama be like, no, we should have got this out 10 years ago. Okay, so she's here. Okay, and she's hanging out in Cancer with the new moon in Cancer season. So, yes, she planned this. Mm hmm She planned this, honey. You know, when when a grandmother or a great-grandmother plan the perfect time to catch you behind. You know what I mean? You know, especially the real old grandmamas, y'all know. They be, they be right there. You think they had bunions. You thought they had arthritis. You thought thought they had a hearing loss and can't see uh-huh yeah that energy right there <laughs> smooth but deadly right shoot all right so let's get into it so we don't waste any more time and i'm going to start off with aries and go all the way down have a wonderful day and night during this cancer transit with the new moon and cancer and the lilith and cancer during cancer that's around Aries, Sun, Moon, and Ascendants, and Mars, <laughs> but this is for the Moon of Aries. So if you have Moon in Aries, or if you want to know a little bit about the Mars that's in Aries, this is a card for you, opening to discovery. Okay, so this is what you need in order to be your securities to be met, in order for you to confront any kind of generational curses um, that is holding on, that you're holding on to knowingly or unknowingly. So as people, we tune into information from outer environments, right, from the ethers. Then, you know, we assign meaning to them within our psyche, you know, just to make them real or to make them understandable for us to be able to process them. That's why when people dream, they usually dream about familiar people, places, and things, but the dream is technically not those people, places, and things. That's just um, how you be able to interpret the energy that the dream is trying to tell you what it's all about, right? So they use familiar things like people, places, and things, right? Um, but since the internet is here, it's crazy, right? It's just more information being fed at a constant rate, and it's, it's so fast that it's hard for the human brain to process it and to take action and everything that we processed all in this 24-hour cycle that we're on you know from start to finish right and it, it can cause us a lot of trouble you know a lot of people will say this is why a lot of children now are don't have a lot of attention because or now anybody right because adults is just as addicted as to, to, to kids but let's just keep it at kids for right now that um it, they're so addicted to it, uh, and it's, it's information is coming so fast. Even somebody who sits and watches TV a lot or play games, the seconds of frames that happens within 
um, uh, the number of amounts of frames that happen when a second is just astronomical that the brain is just constantly firing so when it shuts down and, and it doesn't have that to fire it it kind of feels depressed <laughs> because it doesn't have all that t -t -t stimulation anymore and this is where you get the you know outrage of not having their phone or you know the internet being shut down or you know a website not working or an app not working because people are fiending for that that information but in this time you're open to discovery you have to use discernment with this opening because when you open you are allowing just about anything and everything to come through and if you stay open anything and everything will come through so this is why you have to have discernment you know you have to be able to choose and make the decisions of what type of information is going to be fed to you what things are you going to see is going to be fed to you um you know uh, the, the area the environment of what's going to be fed to you all of that is going to play on your psyche and it could bring you into a point where you just constantly stay stuck because you're not choosing what you want in your space, what you want to see, what you want to hear, what you want to move and groove to. You know, you're just going with the flow and just being open and just whistling on Dixie down the road, skipping and thinking all is good. But it's a, it's a point of protection that you have to have for yourself when you are open, right? So, um definitely the choice is yours so take power and control you know so the universe is always engaging with us there's never it's not a shut off button you know it's all a part of everything so use your tuition you know to help you in tune with the environment you know just like an oracle just use the space the energy that's going on for instance aries um um you have a lot of stuff going on in um your planets you know in, in the area that you have uh, Aries in so there's Jupiter there there's Mars is chilling there there's Chiron chilling there you know what I mean so you just like oh my gosh you got all these good knowledge and information and passion and motives and just you know you're doing some some self-discovery at the same time and and now you got to heal in order to use all that Jupiterian knowledgeable passion let's do this energy to guide your right steps okay so it's kind of like listen without attachment you know be in it but not of it type thing you know what i mean um just so that you can stay open to receive the real gems the real nutrients the real substance energy that you need in order for you to continue on this growth to get to discovery to continue on this 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 um this expansion, this spiritual expansion, and making this grow and expand to something of a reality where you can physically touch these and see it, you know? So it is going to take time, and it does take discipline because some things that you used to do, you can't do no more, you know? Some people you used to hang around with, you might not be able to hang around them as much no more, you know? Some places that you used to go, you cannot really go anymore, and things you used to watch, and et cetera, and et cetera. Now it's time to be choosy about your space, your energy, and what you put your intention into. It's not an egotistical thing. You just use into sermon. Have a wonderful day and night, Aries moon. <laughs> Aries moon during this Cancer moon and this Lilith in Cancer.